Back on Fantasy Insider, 3DZ and the Freak, glad to have you along. This is part two of the Start Sit segment here on Fantasy Insider. Good news. Joe Johnson, Gerald Wallace, Danny Granger, they're all back. They're all good to go this week. Now we move on to the dilemmas. Andrew Bynum of the L.A. Lakers. There's really no dilemma here outside of for the L.A. Lakers. And fantasy, you know you can't go to battle with him this week. Friday against Minnesota, injured his Achilles. Per reports online, he felt a brief pop. That is not good news. Uh, the MRI showed no rupture in that left Achilles. Dennis, Phil Jackson said on Sunday that he hopes Bynum can return before the end of the month and that he will be traveling with the team on their upcoming five-game road trip. Jackson said, quote, maybe this will be a short duration. That's good news. That's great news, and I think everyone in Lakerland hopes that because we know he's been having a pretty good year outside of the injuries. Him and Powell playing well together. Powell had a huge game Sunday. Lamar Odom is battling an injury himself, but he's going to play through it and put up big, big numbers as long as Bynum is out. We move on now to Richard Jefferson. Last week, we told you to uh, pick him up. This week, we're telling you to play him in your starting lineup. Four games for the Spurs this week, and Dennis in his last five games, 17-plus, almost seven rebounds, over two assists, fantastic shooting at 66%. He's finally figured out Pop's system, how to play with Manu, how to play with Timmy, and I think letting him loose a little bit, letting him get out in transitions helped out a lot as well. No question. you, you got to let that horse run, and they are right now, and uh, he's putting up big numbers. We move on to J.R. Smith. Another guy that I think in, in this four-game week for the Nuggets, no Kenyon Martin, Ty Lawson's banged up, and I'm hearing that he may get closer to returning, but uh, J.R. Smith in the last five games is averaging over 18 points and over two threes per game. He has to continue that, no Kenyon Martin. If he stays focused and cuts down the bad shots, he could be a positive influence for the Nuggets in the playoffs. And we move on now with Terrence Williams of the New Jersey Nets. As you see, J.R. Smith banging one more J. He's from Freehold, New Jersey. Uh, to be honest, I do not know where Terrence Williams is from. All I know is he plays for the New Jersey Nets, and he's putting up rather large digits of late. Now, promoted to the starting lineup last week over Trenton Hassel. And to me, when you're coming off the bench getting 28 minutes, that's cool. But when you're now in the starting lineup, now this thing can be consistent. Now you can count on these numbers, and you see the numbers he's been putting up lately. Very talented guy, can handle it, can pass it, can shoot it. Of course, we know he's a great dunker. And as most young guys, more minutes, more opportunity, more productivity. No question. So, J.R. Smith, Richard Jefferson, Terrence Williams, you may be able to go out there on waivers, pick them up, and get them in your lineup here in four game weeks. Kevin Martin, good to go this week. David Lee, good to go this week. Kevin Martin, game time decision for Sunday's game against the Knicks with that left shoulder injury. He had 28 points in 41 minutes. Well, I got Kevin Martin wrong, folks. I have to admit it. When the trade went down, I wasn't for sure he'd mix in with these guys. I got uh, that one wrong. The change. Yeah, Ke <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Martin's been just fine. It oh, took, it's uh, fine. It, it took him a while. It, it took him a while, but I, I wasn't for sure because Brooks had really been playing well. Batty Gay, they really had that the system really locked down with no pile, of course. Excuse me, no Yao Ming and Tracy McGrady. So they really turned the thing around and, fix, and fixed him into the mix. Now, David Lee uh, missed Friday's game. First DMP this year with knee tendonitis. Sunday against those Rockets, he had 27 and 20. Problem is, two games for the Knicks this week. But he is a center. Do you play him with two games? I think you play him. I think David Lee, you know, has proved to us all year long he can be a two-game stud, meaning that 27 and 20, if he does that again, that kind of carries you for two games. So I'm going to say yes. I just think his numbers have been too beefy. And the center position is so weird in fantasy basketball that I just don't think you're going to be able to do better with a three or four game pick up and play type guy than David Lee. Oh, so play David Lee. We continue the conversation on the New York Knicks. Actually, we don't. We're done talking about the Knicks. When we return, we will talk about the Memphis Grizzlies once again. Hashim to beat is now fantasy relevant. Can you believe it? Can the beat go on? Dude, this is all this is a D-League success story right here. The beat goes on. <laughs>